with KC Drone Works and Sofa Sunday Productions. I'm here today at Big Creek and Southern Railroad at the fall event with Mike and Mary Duncan. Hi, you guys. How are you today? Fine. Yourself? Doing good. Doing good. How many years has this event been going on? Uh, about 25 years. Bad uh, started building this uh, 25 years ago and has had a, a spring and a fall uh, meet every every year. We have members from as far away as Texas, Las Vegas, Wisconsin, Tennessee, Kentucky, Georgia, people from all over the country here today. How does the track stay maintained? We work a lot on our knees. Uh, it is what you really do. You work on your knee, uh, replacing ties when they rot out, straightening track if it gets bent. Uh, it'll move also just with weather. So it, it's a constant work. Just Reballasting. Reballasting because they'll get washed out or something. Every Saturday uh, in the month we uh, get together to do a work day to work on the tracks to keep it maintained throughout the year. This weekend is a special weekend for everybody attending. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the memorial? Okay, yes. This weekend is a, uh, a memorial tribute to Scott Weatherford, one of our members who passed away recently. And the most great friends wanted to get together and come to this meet and uh, support his wife. Just fine. How are y'all? Uh, we're doing great. It looks like you have a pretty impressive locomotive. Well, I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. It's a 282 Mikado is the wheel arrangement locomotive, flat steam locomotive. It's uh, fired on oil. It runs at 120 pounds of pressure. It's inch and a half scale. I finished building it right out a year ago. So it's its second run at this railroad. It's, it's been around the country some, but the second run here. How long have you been playing with trains? <laughs> I've been playing with this size train for about 22 years. And how many cars? Uh, 12 cars today. 12 cars, and that includes the caboose. Most of those were homemade. There's a couple in there that, that were bought from a uh, few different builders.
So I've been hearing all the day from everybody here compliments on how beautiful your property is. How long have you been doing this hobby? I started in this hobby in 1984 and uh, I was about a mile and a half from here helping another gentleman. And in 1992, we wanted to build a building to house some of our cars. We were getting too many and uh, uh, we uh, decided to move over here because he didn't want to build a building. So we moved over here and started a railroad. The rest is history. How long is this track? There's almost five miles of track on the ground. Uh, and that includes everything. There's over a mile of yards here that we store trains on, like in here and so forth. Do you get an opportunity to travel around to other events? Oh, I have, yeah. I've been to over 50 different railroads around the country, all over, clear to Alaska. Uh, I went to uh, Anchorage, Alaska in uh, 2000 and ran trains up there. I took them with me and ran them. And we came back down through uh, British Columbia and, and uh, the Portland area and down to uh, uh, Riverside and LA. We, we were going 88 days. So it's been a it's been a good ride. That's all I can say. A lot of these guys that I've traveled all around the country with and run trains at different railroads and we were sitting up there talking the other night and we just have many, many wonderful memories. And when you get old that's all you got, is memories. So I got a bunch of them. Speaking with you today, is there anything, a special memory or or something that really is your favorite part about being an engineer? I'm not an engineer. I'm an imagineer. Imagineer. Yeah. We that. imagine things and try <laughs> to make them work. Well, it was really wonderful talking to you today. Well, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for coming and doing all of this filming. We really appreciate it. Well, it was wonderful being out here. Your property is just beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. It's been a great day out here at Big Creek and Southern Railroad talking with Pat and all the other engineers and train enthusiasts. Enjoy. That's the way it works.